morning. It's eight o'clock on Wednesday the 10th of April and here I am sat at this rather noisy bus stop in Highcliffe. Today I'm walking to Limington which is about eight and a half nine miles away. You may remember the last time I was actually sat here um, was when I was catching a bus back into Bournemouth and that was last Friday. Well an awful lot's happened since then. There was my Saturday night out if you remember and then there was my walk from Lulworth to uh, Chapman's Pool on uh, Sunday and then on Monday I finished off the uh, South West Coastal Path with a walk from Chapman's Pool to Winspit uh, had a day off uh, and then I drove over here uh, to do this walk um, I, drove a, I, dro I drove over actually yesterday morning couldn't find anywhere to park at all in Highcliffe as it happens I have found now thanks to the assistance of the manager of the Tesco Superstore uh, well it's not a superstore it's a small one the small one to car express and he said why don't you go and park around the back of the co-op he said it's about four quid for 24 hours which I did uh, so I put the van on there this morning but only after driving yesterday to Limington to see if I could find some uh, parking there and that was virtually impossible so what I've done I stayed in Limington last night I did actually find a place on the uh, uh, on a marine sort of shop that sells boats and outboard motors and they allowed me to stay there yesterday but they wanted me to move this morning they told me very early this morning because they're getting a big boat or something coming in and they needed the room so I've driven back here to Highcliffe only eight miles it only took a quarter of an hour and I've got parked up and now I'm going to be walking east back to Limington and um, I don't know how long it's going to take me but at least I've got I'm on the car park here at Highcliffe until midnight I can see that this is going to be a big problem this parking business I mean Livingston seems to be bursting at the seams with people and it's a very nice place not that I've seen that much of it but there's absolutely nowhere to park at all nowhere uh, all the street parking is is all residential only um, permit holders and this kind of thing there's just nothing anywhere you can't go on the I think it's the, even even the supermarket I think it's Waitrose is limited to an hour with the cameras and everything so you've got to be very very careful in a place like this so anyway I'm ready for the off I had a day off yesterday because it rained all day and uh, today I'm hoping to get my legs back in gear and put in a big shift so, here we go.
It's 11 o'clock now and it's been a bit of a slog coming all the way up from Highcliffe where I've walked on the beach and uh, along on all the pebbles and everything and uh, I said I'd never do it again but I did and the stupidity of it is there's a way to get onto the beach at um, Milford on sea um, and it's a really nice broad path but it just runs to a complete dead end after you've walked about two miles and so there's no way you can get up the cliffs if you can't shin up because of the thick mud and there's, there's all sorts of problems they're having with shifting mud and landslides and stuff like this and they're all wet and soggy and, and it's made the beach the same so it's either walk two miles back to where you start or uh, as I've done I ignored that and climbed over some big boulders and things and walked along the beach and, but the tide was coming in but it wasn't dangerous there was, there was loads of room uh, but it, it was that, that small shingly pebbles and you re really gets your groin and your knees and, and it's hard work. You could do with some kind of snowshoes on to stop you sinking. But I've made it and, and it's, it's been quite nice. Actually, the sun has just come out over the last few minutes. Um, there's a, a bit of a nippy wind. It's not, it's not cold, but it's not warm either. I'm glad I brought my gloves and I've got wrapped up. I considered putting my shorts on this morning, but the, the temperature is too low for that. I think I would struggle. But I get a nice clear view if I look over to my left over there of the Isle of Wight, and I'm narrowing down now and I'm not that far from Lymington. And then the intention then is to uh, catch a bus back to Highcliffe, and then I'm going to drive over to Hythe, which is on the other side of Southampton water to Southampton where you actually get the ferry across to Southampton and so what I do is park the van up there uh, tomorrow get a bus back to Lymington and then make it to Hythe that's my basic plan as you're well aware that can change uh, there's, the, anything can happen really to, to alter that but I think that's the way of beating the parking problem and even though I've got parked up today quite easily in Highcliffe, I think this is definitely going to be my biggest problem, is finding somewhere to park. So I've just bought a nice cup of tea from the first cafe that I've come across and uh, just enjoying a little break and then I'll be on my way again. But it's a lovely morning and I'm thoroughly enjoying this. So here I am at Milford on Sea. It's, it's probably about just after 11, 11.30ish and this lady's name again, sorry is Mary, Mary as, as you said as in Christmas, as in Christmas and, and Grant, and Grant. As in Scotch. now I noticed you walking along and, and uh, uh, the, one of the problems I've got now that I've come off when I, when I say the proper established coastal paths such as the South West Coastal Path is I'm not going to see many walkers and you see an awful lot of dog walkers and you know cyclists. lots and lots of cyclists and yeah. all this kind of stuff yeah. but I think I'm going to run out of <laughs> identifying walkers but but you two are kitted out you look as if you're yeah, out got, for the day uh, where are you going what are you doing we're doing a bit of this coast path we're going inland a bit and up the river there's yeah. a little river just runs parallel to the coast oh yeah and then back down to the coast again so it's a nice little loop yes i had open heart surgery last year so we're still doing gentle walks right i don't like going uphill very much at the moment no no well no yeah absolutely. well it's good to see you back out on the coastal path after, Thank you. after a year that's yeah, that's wonderful months, yeah. that's wonderful well we did yeah. this when grant had just had the off about three and a half months didn't we, we did. and this was the first one that had a bit of uphill in yeah. it so yeah. we're just revisiting it, trying to go twice as fast as last yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so well, I would imagine, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, you, you would have to take it easy. What, have, you got, have you got one of these fit bits or anything to sort of count your steps and all that so that you can no, motivate like yourself? No, no, no. I just did, at home, I did, went up and down the hill as much as I could, you know, for the first few months. And yeah. then gradually, gradually, gradually got going. Um, soon, I find walking is the best thing, really. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely best because as long as it's not too uphill. Yes. Because um, 
my heart's always going a little bit fast. Yes. And it feels when I'm walking as if it's the right sort of environment for it to just tick away nicely, you know? Well, that's brilliant. <laughs> that's, that, I mean, yeah. obviously, you're a very experienced walker. I know we, you, 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 we're like just it. throwing one or two names at each other, where the places we've been and everything. So yeah. you, you've done all the major coastal paths and stuff. Lots then, and lots it? and lots of bits. But usually in bits, because we've got the family with us, so you do yeah. what you can manage with yes. kids or teenagers. Or <laughs> yeah, that's well, right. You, yeah. you, you want to get back, well, you want to go to the Northumberland bit, don't you? I'd love like. to do that again one yeah. day. Yeah. What, yeah. the St Oswald's? Well, I'd like to go the the Trans Pennine one because oh, awesome. um, Sorry. well, my family originally came from Newcastle, so I'd love ah, to do. Right. I should say Newcastle. <laughs> so yeah, well, I'd love they've to got do their own the way of talking, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. And I went. No, um, Northwest coast of Scotland's on your bucket list, yes. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. On right? a different subject, have you heard of Sarah Millican? Yes. Well, it's the Geordie yes. comedian. Yeah, yeah. I, do, I don't. I mean, you either love her or you hate That's, her. But, oh, but, no, but she's, she's quite entertaining. I mean, she's a bit rude, isn't she? But she's brilliant. You know, I, I love her attitude to life. It, it, I think it's brilliant. But you know, fantastic. I went to see her in Birmingham with my daughter just before Christmas. It was it was great. And, and uh, I'm a big fan, and so is she. You know, it was a little, real Geordie sense of humour. Oh, there? absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so you, this is this is just building building up again, then Grant, really, to to you know yeah. to get yourself back to maximum. Yeah, it's little fitness. ups and downs all the time. You know, some days I feel knackered, don't I? Yeah. Uh, generally, I'm told it's an upward. I'm improving. Good. Um, but uh, really? yeah, we just got. You've done see, up to right? about five and a half, haven't you? Five yeah. to six, we can do now. Well, yeah. that's yeah. excellent. Yeah. 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 But we've got. Um, grandchildren and children with us here so yeah. we can get out for an hour or so and then back to meet up again yeah. so yeah. that's what yeah. we keep doing we do yeah. little yeah. bits and then yeah. join up again don't we yeah it's a busy time good with children are little in life yeah yeah absolutely they're more but exhausting than walking aren't they? oh much <laughs> much <laughs> well, one thing you're going to be able to give them a treat now. I mean, this is going to be on YouTube tomorrow, so you'll be able to oh, sit them gosh. down and say, "Look at your nana, nana and granddad on the telly and <laughs> stuff like that." And I'm serious; they, they, they'll enjoy it. I'm sure they will. And, and this is a record forever, you know. So you, you've got right. it now, <laughs> and, and you're one of the hundreds of people who have been on on, on my programs, and, and people like meeting interesting people. This is what I like about on the coastal path that you do meet some fantastic like-minded people of a yeah. similar age group who are, who are a lot in common in that sense but we're all different and and, and i just find it really intriguing and, and i just really it, it's it's created almost kind of a, a social life for me but i know we're ships in the night you know what i mean but nevertheless it's really really lovely to meet people like you yeah and so often people don't say hello I know. You know? <laughs> well, the younger ones, they, they, you know, they, they sort of they come at you like the Pontypool front row, don't they? And, 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 and uh, you know, they, they don't say hello and they look yeah. down and everything. Yeah. There's no eye contact. Phone. Oh, I, 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 I make a thing about that occasionally. I've said to one or two of them. I think about a fortnight ago, there was twelve of them in a row, and I, I moved out of the way so they could, could come through because it was a fairly narrow path, and not one of them said thank you or yeah. hello. Not one. Happens a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, and I and I've let them through, and they're all still talking to each other like as if I wasn't there. <laughs> you know, uh, as if I was just, what's this bloke doing here? They were, they, they were looking, you know, and I was actually letting them through, and, and not one of them said hello. I was livid. You must write a book about this. I am writing a book. Okay. Yeah, I mean, all right. So I've got all these films, but the book's going to be more about what's in my head than what's in my feet, if yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and having told you the story, all, all the all the background stuff that's going round yeah. in my mind. Because you do get an awful lot of thinking time. And, yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it now. I've been walking for nearly a year and I've more or less got the first paragraph written. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, it's got, to be, it's got to be a good start, actually. You haven't got a title yet. Uh, yeah, I've thought of some because I, I, I mean I know a, a modern thing, Fitbits and everything. Well, when I finish this walk, I'll have walked 9.9 .9 million mile, uh, million steps, 9.9 oh. .9 million steps, <laughs> and and that I don't know. A lot of people are not into Fitbits, but no, I've I've thought of a, sh a few things. But I think the opening line is, I've I've completely and utterly wasted my whole life. 
no. having a bloody good time. <laughs> you well, know, you have to find the time this... to do the few extra steps to take it up to <laughs> the 10 million, won't you? Well, yes. I mean, you have to yeah, find the time for that. 10 million steps. You know, it'd be a shame yeah, not to. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'll think about that. <laughs> yeah. Lovely to meet you. I must get on my way. Yeah, you must. Yeah, uh, yeah, and you, you've got your walking to do. It's nice that the sun's popped out now. Yeah, it's warm. It, it, it was vile yesterday. It, Horrible yeah, day yesterday. Terrible. I know. Did you walk in all that rain? I didn't. No, I refused to. I can't. I can't video in rain, and I don't like walking in rain. And there's no rush, you know. So Look at this lovely boat. Right, I'm off my, on my way. Our walk tells you you'll see the QE2 on this walk. Yeah, possibly. Don't okay, think that's Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, it's good to meet you. Cheers now. Bye now. Bye. Bye.
Now just look at that for £2.50. Nice big pot full of tea. Probably three cups out of that, so that's pretty good, isn't it? And it works out about 80 pence a cup. It's two o'clock now, and I'm just having a break. I'm not very far now from Limington, probably about a mile and a half, something like that. And uh, this, this road that I'm on now will take me right into the centre, where I can catch a bus back again to Highcliffe. The tea was great actually, it was a nice big full pot. I only managed to get two big cups, so that works out at 120, which is pretty good, isn't it, really? And talking of tea, when I was walking the other day from Poole to Highcliffe, the day it was raining, you may remember, and I had about seven cups of tea, I think, I had that day. It, I think it's the first time that I've ever spent more money on tea in a day than beer. It's been a really nice walk actually. I, on paper it doesn't look much and, and there's a, you know, it's flat and it's walking along beaches and all this kind of stuff. There's none of that fantastic scenery that you, you saw on uh, Sunday and Monday when I was walking uh, up from Lulworth up to Winspit, which was absolutely amazing. And I hope you agree with me that Dorset is absolutely spectacular and I hope that people will start taking notice of Dorset a little bit more. You know, it was absolutely incredible. I loved it. And uh, I'm pleased to say there's been quite a good response with the video. There's a lot of new people come on board and I'd like to welcome you. And uh, there's lots of back numbers for you to have a look at. And I'm sure you'll get used to me as time goes on. I know that um, it's going to be a little bit, I say it, mundane. You never know what it's going to be like when you're walking through places like Southampton and all these because they're absolutely steeped in history and Portsmouth. So it's not going to be fantastic views of uh, 300 feet rock faces and all this sort of stuff and, and cliffs and, and what have you. It's going to be kind of more down to earth everyday stuff. And I'm sure when I get out to Sussex and Beachy Head and Brighton and all those places, there might be a little bit more in terms of, you know, different, more kind of attractive looking shots. But um, this is the coastal path walk around the UK and every yard is as important as the other to me. And, and I'm going to do them all. And today I took exactly the track that's suggested by OS and uh, it didn't let me down. It was great. So that's it and uh, I'm going to get the bus back to Highcliffe and then I'm going to consider what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll be probably going later, maybe later tonight or first thing in the morning to Hythe and uh, park the van up there, get a bus back to Lymington and then walk across the New Forest rather than on the coastal path. The distance is the same, but um, you haven't really seen uh, the New Forest and uh, there are some really nice walks across there, but I'll think about that and I might try and combine the two because there's a fantastic place called Bewley, which is a beautiful village. There's also the, I think it's the British Motor Museum is there, might be worth a look. And um, don't know much about Hythe, but I know from Hythe you can get the ferry across the uh, Solent uh, water, sorry, the Southampton water, and uh, into Southampton. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing Southampton again. I haven't been there for a long time. So, I'll see you later.
so this guy here that I met at the bus stop, this is Marius, who's from Romania. Hello. And we're just having a, a talk. And uh, how long have you been here, Marius? About one and a half year. Are you enjoying this... it? Do you like it? Yeah, I work here, but I have to go back to Romania. You do? Really? Yeah. I go about three, four weeks. Yes. I'm what? coming back. I will come back. But you're going to come back? Yeah. What about the EU situation? Is there any problems for you with, with, with the EU? Yeah, it's, I work too hard on Indian takeaway. It's hard work, yeah. Yeah, it must be, yeah. But obviously you, you must love Romania, but this is... The, the here. I come here just for work to make just, money. Just to, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Well, best of luck to you. And thank you for telling me about the bus stop because yeah, it's, I, I would, I, it's a good job it was there. You're welcome. You're because, welcome. Because I would have been, I've had to wait for the next one. Yeah, you were missing. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome, friend. sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome.